Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. I'm Adam and I really appreciate you guys being here today. We've got a different kind of video today. Um, we're not really playing a game. Um, it's kind of be like a vlog, kind of, I guess. Um, I might start doing these kind of things just about my life and things I'm interested in. Um, today I just want to talk about um, something I was thinking about this morning. This video is not sponsored in any way, not sponsored by anyone. It's purely my opinions. It's opinionated. I'm sorry again, um, but that's, you know, that's how it's going to go. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I am interested in 3D printing. You can see the printer there behind me. It's not printing anything right now, but I do like 3D printing. I got my 3D printer earlier this year, um, maybe March or so. There was some kind of deal. I got it on sale. It's an Ender 3 V2 Neo. Um, I actually have a Bamboo Lab P1P on the way that should be here next Tuesday. I'm so excited for that. And I started getting into 3D printing and I wanted to get into the 3D printing both as a hobby and as a tool. So um, for me, I wanted to be able to print cool Dungeons and Dragons models and, and cool figures and things like that. But I also wanted to fix things around my house. Um, and I knew that there were plenty of things online that was already made on printables and Thingiverse for me to use. Um, but I also wanted to design my own stuff, uh, which meant I had to learn a CAD software. For those of you that don't know, CAD is computer aided design. Now I learned about a lot of 3D printing from channels like Makers Muse and Teaching Tech. Teaching Tech specifically started a series uh, called uh, CAD for Beginners or something along those lines. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, where he discussed his opinion on the best CAD options available, specifically those that were free, um, during which he discussed Onshape. Onshape worked perfectly for me, as I usually like the online aspect of things like that. I like using Google Drive. I don't typically like the online only vibe of those. I would like to have something offline as well, but a software such as Onshape where, where you can collaborate and use it for free seemed fantastic. Um, that is until I read Onshape's Terms of Service. Now, Teaching Tech does mention in his video, fantastic channel, again, not harping on him. Um, he does mention in his video that the free version of Onshape allows you to only create public documents, which didn't seem to be a problem. Um, he did demonstrate how it would be impossible for you to find something useful and rip it off or something like that. But then I got to thinking, well, what if I want to sell my creations? Is this hobbyist license still apply to me if I make money? And the answer is no. There's actually a another video about a man who actually was, uh, he had his Onshape account shut down because he was making videos about Onshape. And they considered that commercial use. That told me that Onshape is willing to terminate a free account for anything they deem necessary. Um, if you look in their terms of service, they do actually specify that they can remove any of your models for any reason they see fit, um, which is just ambiguous enough to benefit them and hurt the consumer. That didn't sit well with me. Now, many people will not have any problem with that, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. If that doesn't bother you, keep using Onshape. However, for me, it wasn't an option anymore. So I had to find another option. My problem now, though, is that I've learned to use Onshape. I've made a couple different models on Onshape. I am familiar with Onshape now. As a beginning CAD user, I can still relearn. I began to look for other options. Um, the first thing I looked for was how about a paid Onshape license? How much does that run? A lot. So basically I couldn't use Onshape. Well, Onshape is derived from SolidWorks. How about that? Well, it turns out SolidWorks does have a hobbyist option now. I believe when I originally looked, they didn't, but now they do. Um, 50 bucks a year is still a bit much. Um, more than I'm really willing to spend for a hobby. It's not bad though, and it was my next contender. Um, uh, even right now, it's a really good option. Um, however, I don't like the idea of a yearly payment. I'd like to pay for software once, please. It's software, not a subscription. Well, unfortunately, that's everybody's model now. Fusion 360. Lots of money per year. Autodesk from Fusion 360. Lots of money per year. Onshape, lots of money per year. And it seemed like 
for this one software, to put it in perspective, Adobe for the entire Adobe suite charges me less money per year for 30 something softwares, something like that, than all of these companies do for one. I understand CAD is super powerful, but that's a lot of money. So I began to look for free options. Um, the first one, obviously, is FreeCAD. Um, I looked into it. It's free to download. You just straight download it. There's there's nothing, no kind of payment plan. There's no nothing. There's not even a paid version. It's just straight free. It's even open source, which is fantastic. Everything was lining up for this to be fantastic. And then I opened it. And having learned on Onshape, I didn't understand anything I was looking at. I almost managed to make a, a solid cube, but I had to look at so many tutorials to do that. It just wasn't intuitive to me. There were so many buttons that didn't seem relevant. There are so many different workspaces that I didn't understand. I just couldn't wrap my head around it. So unfortunately, I uninstalled FreeCAD and looked for other options. Next up was OpenSCAD. Um, which is very capable and fantastic, and unlike every other option, OpenSCAD is completely different in that it uses coding. I do have basic knowledge of coding. I know a little bit of HTML. I know a little bit of Java. I was developing a video game for quite a while, but I am not a coding expert, and I don't learn new coding languages as well as I used to. OpenSCAD was not for me. Um, I do still have it installed because there are plenty of models that are designed to be parametric using OpenSCAD and I think it's still very capable, but it's not for me and it's not what I want to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I'm not a CAD expert. Um, I've designed several models, even a few back uh, when I learned on Tinkercad and I've gotten more and more used to using CAD over the years and I've gotten better using CAD and I've made more models over the last few months. But I needed a software that fit my guidelines, which were preferably no yearly cost. If it was a yearly cost, it needed to be cheap. It needed to be user friendly. And my experience from Onshape needed to carry over. As I continued to use some Google Foo, uh, one name started to come up. I had never heard of it before, and I had never even seen YouTube videos on it before. It was Alibre. I proceeded to do YouTube searches for Alibre and find handmade tutorials by the company themselves on how to use their software. I scrolled through their website and found that it was a lifetime license for sale for a reasonable price with free trials available. And I found multiple people, although a small community, praising Alibre that it was a fantastic, easy to use CAD software. So with nothing to lose, I downloaded the free trial. And I was amazed that in about 30 to 45 minutes, I was able to modify the keyboard commands in Alibre to line up nearly exactly with Onshape. The workspace, albeit looking somewhat different, worked very similar to Onshape. And I was able to import all the step files from my Onshape account and create models almost as well as I did an Onshape in about an hour of using Libre. Now I would say I'm almost more versed in Alibre a few months later than I am in Onshape. The best part about Alibre is actually that they seem like a small company. I don't know anything about them. But a few days into my free trial, I received a phone call. I have a Google Pixel which screens the call and it turned out to be an Alibre representative. Now normally I don't like when companies reach out. However, I got the transcript from my Google Pixel, which told me that it was just an Alibre representative not trying to sell me on the product, but just asking if I had any questions or needed any help with the software. That turned out to be fantastic. About a week or, week or two later, um, another person called because I hadn't reached out or said anything at all and asked if there was anything that they could do to make Alibre the software that I needed it to be. And I answered with, no, it seems to be working fantastic. In fact, at that point, I was putting together the money from my paycheck to purchase the software, and I purchased the software before my free trial was up. Of course, I purchased their cheapest option, which was not quite the same as the free option, but it still had everything I needed. In fact, I'm still considering buying their mid-tier option. 
It has been absolutely fantastic. I love a Libre to Death. They have an optional yearly payment plan that just makes sure you keep the most up-to-date version, but it's certainly not necessary. And the current version I have that I paid a lifetime license for is fantastic. Um, so if you're looking for a cat option with no dumb caveats, one affordable price, by the way, the highest tier version of Libre, the one-time cost is cheaper than most of the other companies' annual cost, by the way. You can transfer your CAD skills from other softwares and a super helpful team to answer your questions. Go to Alibre. I don't know where they showed up from. I don't know anything about them, but it has worked fine. I've designed many things using Alibre. In fact, there's a whole bunch of stuff in my printables that is now designed with Alibre and I can't recommend it enough. Um, I'm sorry if this video seems like I'm shilling out for them now. Um, but it had to be said, I don't feel like they've gotten enough representation on YouTube and um, I wanted to make sure that I helped because they have been fantastic. In fact, um, Alibre, uh, look forward to my purchase of your mid-tier option in the next coming months or so. I did just buy a P1P, um, but I hope to put many of the models I design on Alibre on that P1P. Um, so thank you Alibre. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, there'll probably be more videos like this, not necessarily shilling for different companies, but about 3D printing and other things. For example, I plan to post updates on my P1P experience. People seem to love their P1Ps, so I would love to document my experiences um, and how they pan out um, because I'm just an average dude. And I almost want to title this video series like Average Dude Stories or something like that. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, check me out weekdayweekend.net or twitch.tv slash weekdayweekend and I'll see you next time next weekend. Bye-bye.